we can use our bounce diagram to get the voltage at any position Z over time by seeing which voltage waves intersect that Z position. For example, if we want the, how the voltage changes over time at Z equals zero, we can follow this line down to see how the voltage at Z equals zero changes over time. So as we go down this line, at time t equals zero, we see we get V1 plus. At time two, capital T, we add on to that the V1 minus and V2 plus waves, and so forth. Here's a nicer way to look at it. Over this time period, we would see V1 plus at the, volt at the generator side. Between 2T and 4T, we would see V1 plus, V1 minus, and V2 plus, and so forth. Same thing we could do here at the load. We would get zero until capital T. After that, we would see V1 plus and V1 minus until 3T. You could do the same thing at any point in the middle of the transmission line if you wanted to. You would see zero until this point of along this particular Z position uh, until you see the V1 plus line. And then it would stay V1 plus until here you would also add on to that V1 minus. And at this point in time, you would add on V2 plus and so forth. Let's work through an example. For the transmission line shown here, spend a couple minutes drawing a voltage bounce diagram. Assume the transmission line is lossless. Label as much as you can, like the reflection coefficients and the amplitudes of each voltage wave and so forth. 